I think the critics, the local critics who are working here are, are doing wonderful work. But when I started out, we had four newspapers who had regular dance critics. We had Ann Barzell, Linda Weiner, Glenna, um, and Dorothy Samixon at the Daily News. And they knew what they were talking about. So it's a matter of quantity, not quality. The quality is still very high, but you, there, there isn't as, how can I say it? There isn't as much of it out there immediately under the eyeballs of people who have no interest in dance. That's where I think we, we've lost things when we've lost print newspapers. Because if you went through, unless you simply read the sports section and threw the rest of the paper away, you became aware of the fact that there was a ballet company somewhere. Even if it was just a reefer on you know, page one, 25th anniversary of Nutcracker opening at Airy Crown or something. You, you were aware that it was out there. Now you have to search for it. You have to want to find it. And I think that's horrifying. I think that's really, that scares me to death to tell you the truth. Because often the things that are really important we stumble on. We just stumble on. And that's one of the benefits of being in a big city. You stumble on something passing on the bus. Or, and I, I did, I, you know, that's obviously I'm a dodo. But um, that is one of the benefits of a print general interest newspaper because you may pick it up for one reason. And at any given point, you you know you're waiting for supper to finish, so you you're leafing through, and you might see something, but you're aware it's out there, that it exists. Now I think people might have not even know that Lucky Plush exists or the Seldens exists. It's and that's too bad. Whether it, because then you are not part of the cultural conversation, you're not part of civic life. <laughs>